All righty, all righty. So yeah, some, I guess this girl, the real chemo on uh, TikTok, she went on, um, she went to DreamCon and I guess she didn't have a good experience. So she put like hashtag cancel DreamCon. I don't, I gotta see why fully. I seen, a, I seen it briefly, but I didn't see too much. So I just wanna, let's see. We about to see right now. Though. Some bros. She must be talking about Belize group now. From the Dante. What? To de influence anybody that's been speaking about DreamCon, want to go to DreamCon, do not waste your money. I took time off of work. I bought the tickets. I. I ain't gonna lie. That's. Like... <laughs> I don't understand that. Uh, uh, cancel it. I I got another reason at this point. Because canceling is wild. That that's like a lot. Everything on time, and this is the most disorganized thing I've ever seen in my life. This event I mean, it's, had twenty two thousand people, and barely any staff, barely any volunteers, making sure everything is working accordingly. The app is crazy. It's crashing. You get registered, they unregister you for stuff, and it's insane. Platinum and gold means nothing. Pe okay, so one thing I'm taking away already. If they ain't do nothing serious, I'm gonna be high with her. No, I did ask. Like, I I don't think that was what she just said so far. That's not cancelable. She said twenty two thousand uh people like pulled up. I'm guessing they weren't expecting that because I remember last DreamCon it wasn't that many people there. It, it was like a few thousand, but it wasn't no twenty two. So if they weren't expecting that, you can't really blame them. This is still a small group trying to, you know, make their convention a big thing. They're like on their third, fourth year. So yeah, I wouldn't give them too much slack for that. Like. Yeah, it could be a little bit more organized, and there's always room for criticism, but, like, at the same time, cancel it? That's crazy. People that didn't even have no badges, that weren't even registered, were getting into platinum and gold pass events by sneaking in, and nobody's stopping anybody. Everybody's mm. long rushing, everybody's line cutting and jumping, and nobody's stopping anything. I'm a, I don't know. I'm ghetto, bro. I don't be sneaking in and shit, but I definitely, like, bro, if you've been to any amusement park or anything... Of this sort, niggas gonna be sneaking in regardless. Like I, I don't. When it's twenty two thousand people, much more than they expected, you gonna expect somebody to sneak somewhere. Like it is what it is, you know. It does suck though. I do understand. Like I understand not having a good experience with it, but like, like I said, canceling. Come on, that that's crazy. Now I was registered since yesterday. I got a notification. Listen to this whole thing first. Let me see. Which is weird saying that it's full. How are you unregistering somebody that already got into the registration? So anyway, I was waitlisted. The event started at 5 p.m. I got there at 1 p.m. Waited in line four to five hours to meet the Sun Bros. This was the only reason I came to Austin, Texas, from all the way from Chicago, to see them. I didn't come to see anybody else. And I stood there from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. just to see them. They let people... All right, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., that's OD. I'm not going to lie. That's four hours worth of standing, like, in one place waiting to see somebody. But what's also OD is going all the way and doing all this and wanting to cancel DreamCon because you wanted to see one group. You didn't want to go to meet new people, look at the uh, business ventures or venues, I mean. Um, you didn't want to look at, like, the tournaments they had. They, all, they had, like, an all-girls room or something like that. They had, like, plenty of shit, you know, the cosplayers. It's just such a, I, like, from what I'm seeing, like, I, even though I didn't get to go, from what I'm seeing, it's, like, such a, you know, different experience. You get to meet new people. Like, if you're only going for that one thing and it didn't go as well, so you want to cancel all your event, you can't really, like, that doesn't, it's no weight to stand on right there. Like, I don't get that. You only went for one thing, so the whole event overall, come on now. Anything to these people. They didn't even have a rope in place. They just pr mm. placed a rope about when it was about four or thirty. Like it's crazy. And mind you, what? it's twenty-two thousand people at this uh, event. Some bros, each member in the Sun Bros has millions of followers on their own, and you're only gonna let a hundred and thirty people in. I understand everybody can't get in. A <laughs> hundred and thirty people is a lot of people. File in, take a picture, leave. Take a picture, leave. Take a picture, leave. But even that didn't happen. And even the 130 people that made it into the room to see some road... Shit, I wish I had 130 people in this stream. I'd be a happy noodle. Crazy. Like, you're oh. wasting people's time and money and everything they spent. And just to let people jump and cut and get into the event. It is crazy. Like, this is making me so mad. 
and it's not even just the some bros man it's been this whole experience have been horrible do not go to DreamCon ever again i will never be coming back some bros you guys need to make your own it'd be your own it's people terrible. nah bro, make your own convention that's what that's counterproductive against the the group there you know collabing with and doing stuff but that's weird that's like a stab in the back but anyways yeah that's that's i don't know bro like you can't really tell everybody to not go because of the experience you had like there's thousands of other people that had a fantastic experience so since you had a bad experience because you went for one thing doesn't mean you have to like project that on everybody else and i get it criticism is good you know they do need to grow you know and they, they need to learn areas where they um probably aren't you know doing their best in so they have to like capitalize on you know the criticism but at the same time telling people to cancel shit because you didn't have a good time that nah, 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 nah. you know what i'm saying that's just you just chatting low-key regardless if you spent your money or not yeah you entitled to get what you spent for but it's plenty of other people that spent money for that too and there's plenty of other people that probably had that same experience but still enjoyed the entire convention so to say cancel it and then be like some bros make your own convention and never go again like this is, it'd be your own people it, it'd be your own people you feel me like it's kind of weird i ain't gonna lie but i understand her feeling on you know not being satisfied with her experience i honestly think though next time you decide to go to a convention make sure you're going there for at least more than just that simple experience of seeing one group of you know people like there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time you can't really shit on the whole thing if that one experience right there she tried to say the whole thing but we know why the, the main thing she was talking about was the some rose thing so yeah i wouldn't even cancel is crazy like this is on their they're on their fourth year like you got to let them grow this is not like i don't hear nobody you will never hear nobody talking like this about vidcon comic con fucking any con all types of stuff you know all the other conventions that they be doing She was complaining because it didn't go her way, it sounds, basically. But I ain't gonna lie, standing in the line for one to five hours, I mean, like, four to five hours is kind of fucking OD. I wouldn't want to do that either. Like, I barely like standing in one-hour lines at fucking Six Flags, so I understand that. Like, standing in the line for that many hours is fucking OD. At that point, I feel like you had the post office. So, like, <laughs> or the DMV or some shit. Go to Six Flags. No, that ass. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be like, you know two to three hour waits for the six flags ride shit I didn't, I didn't been through it especially in the heat oh man but to shit on the whole convention for that that's wild i'm not gonna shit on the whole convention for that that's crazy that's crazy as hell i don't know the it's people in the comments like look honestly this is like the third dream con like yeah it's like the third or fourth one you gotta let them grow like they have to be able to you know fix these mistakes and stuff and see these things but to cancel them that's wild bro why we gotta count yeah like literally they so saying cancel is kind of crazy the first comment okay understood then again this convention is new thank you i agree this is a new convention rdc is trying but y'all still have to understand she spent money on the plane ticket waited hours i mean that was her choice that was her choice nobody forced her to do that they didn't force her to do that she chose to do that just to see some bros she could have seen them like any other time like they probably would they i'm pretty sure they do stuff like um what like meeting greets or stuff well i don't know i wouldn't know i wouldn't know but like yeah she came for that reason it's not like she came for rdc she said she came for some bros that was it um so what's going on mm, not much we were talking about this uh situation with DreamCon. how are you doing today but not that we're talking about the situation with green con where this girl wanted to cancel it i guess because uh she bought a ticket to see some bros and she bought a, pa a platinum pass and i guess it basically was just un to her it was unorganized and just all this other stuff she was talking about cancel dream con all this other stuff but they weren't expecting to have twenty two thousand people that's a shit ton of people so imagine twenty two thousand people in a stream bro you know how much money you're making from that shit that's crazy you literally get boosted to some of the top views. That's a lot of people. Like, she could have been wait, wait. She could have went to the thing and pop up. Yeah, that ass. That's like I went to an RDC event. They got mad at because an AMP member ruined the experience. RDC did nothing for this girl. Yeah, to cancel their whole experience. I get it. It's like, oh, they didn't have the like the volunteers. Like these are volunteers. These aren't security guards. Like these. By the way, you said volunteers. Um, security guards. They probably do need better security. 
granted, that's a shit ton of people. Imagine next year. Next year is probably going to be way more. So now that they know this, though, they can capitalize on that. And they can, they can, you know, they can grow. But to sit here and try to cancel them for that shit just because you had a bad poopy experience with a few other movies, that's okay. It's okay. But that don't mean cancel it. It don't mean cancel it. Don't try to cancel it. That's wild. And it's really only our own people that give this type of criticism. It's like we want to get rid of it instead of trying to make it better. I never went to DreamCon. I really want to go there. Yeah, I was supposed to go this year, and I didn't. So I want to go to, I'm hoping next year is the year, for real. Because I missed out on this year, and they had Corey there. They had a lot of people there. I feel like that was an experience. Um, really hoping they hear the complaints and fix it. They heard the complaints. They had a panel there where they were talking about stuff, about the app not working, stuff like that. They get, people got to understand, bro, like, nothing is perfect, and it's not going to, sometimes it don't take three to four years to become perfect. Shit, it's not going to be perfect, but at the end of the day, they're still growing. This is, this is a group of young black men that started this stuff on their own from YouTube. They're not going to have it all the way, just because you've seen them with, like, celebrities and getting deals and doing all this other stuff. That don't mean they're going to have it all fully, get, like, together and stuff. They still got time to grow. They still have a long way to go, so... I'm not going to sit here and bash them for shit like that. That's wild. Cancel? The hell? That's their livelihood, bro. <laughs> Come on now. That's not their livelihood, but it's like something they... That's one of their lively dreams. Like, that's something they live to do. DreamCon. They wanted to do that for a long time, and now that they're doing it, it's, good. it's a great... Uh, damn, I'm stuttering. It's a great thing for just, you know, young black men to do. Yeah, people fail to realize these uh, dream con is way bigger than the last one. Exactly. The first one, it was only a few hundred people. Niggas was not going there like that. And they should have. I ain't gonna lie. I, I wish I could have went to any one of these. But I guess not. Um. So, yeah, that's that, bro. She was complaining about that. I think a lot of people end up making, like, stitches towards it and stuff and start talking about it and all this other stuff. But, you know. Uh, TikTok for you. 